Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the flyweight bout between Kletzin Rodriguez versus Zaruk Adashev. And high season right here between Rodriguez versus Adashev is, um, I'm just going with, um, youth over here. I'm really going with youth momentum. Adashev, yes, he got that win over, um, Ryan Benoit, but I uh, went over Ryan Benoit. He has not really amounted to much. The man, like, iffy. He, he gives a takedown to everybody. You know, he's a war rounder fighter. Often, times the fight comes down to if he can outstrike, I mean, if he can land that shot and knock you out potentially, or if he's the better striker, he'll win. Like, you, you can define that chin, he'll win. Like, you can be a better striker. Like, Sergio Pettis, what, 10, 20 years ago? Sergio Pettis was the better striker, you know, but Sergio Pettis had that glass chin and he just found his moment, cracked him, put him to sleep. And then, like, you know, some other guys he beat. But his record's always been. Up and up the surf. So it's like Ryan Benoit. I went on Ryan Benoit. Benoit don't really amount to much. It was a case of Ryan Benoit. Like again, if you could be strike better than him, you're the better striker and you could beat him. You know, he's supposed to be this war round fighter. He only looked to really lose one facet of his game. And other guys happened to be better in that area. And that's how it was. Simple as that. By the way, it was what it is. Now he's going there with um, Clayton Rodriguez, who I feel is a very young guy and you know, had a lot of young guy tendencies, young fighter tendencies. Rookie tendencies, and that definitely leaves openness for Zaruk Adashev. And credit to him, he did put up a decent performance, a little passive performance with Sumo Adaraji by Sumo Durji by making to a decision. You know, keeping it, well, it wasn't never like really competitive. Sumo Madurji was in the driver's seat at all points. It was never a case where like, oh, he might have took that round. He might have took that round. It was every round was Sumo Madurji's, but he was definitely in there. He definitely was not just getting ran through. So, credit to him for not getting ran through, is all I'm going to say. But I'm going to lean to the younger guy in this fight with um, Place and Rodriguez. Younger guy, see improvements in the strike, improvements every game. And I feel like at that age, he can make some improvements. And I feel like even without making those improvements, he's still the more we're on the fighter. Yes, he doesn't mix up the graph as much as I would want. But the fact that it's there, it's not like, um, to me, Zaruk Adashev is such a great strike. Oh, he's a K1. He did not day that. But he was a very low-end K1 fighter. And it's nothing like really to write home about, about his K1 career. Even when you look at his K1 style, it's not like it's a great K1 skill set. It's not like he... Some sort of polished striker. The man was aggressive and rough in K1. A lot of load up, a lot of spinning, a lot of just not really polished striking, not really clean, pretty, beautiful, strung together, Chris textbook technical striking. It was never that case. So I feel like Clayton Rodriguez can throw some flashback at him, be long, be active. He can hold his own with him, just avoid getting caught up in some big, a big spinning heel kick to the dome, just avoid the big. The big flashes from um, Adashev land the shorter shots. Matter of fact, if his coach is teaching that, that'd be it wouldn't be that hard to beat him. Just land the cleaner, polished shots. Let him let him wind up. Let him spin around. And when he's finished finishing around, you there to crack him. And that's all he had to do. I'm not saying it's easy, but I'm not saying Zeruk Adashev is definitely not no world beater in striking. So it's not like oh, okay, oh this guy is young and this and that. He is young, but Zeruk Adashev is far from world beater. And Clayson Rodriguez is younger and more around the fighter. So. I'm going to lead the younger, more way around the fighter in this one. Adashev, yes, he got a win, but good for him. But I think that's where it stops. And I feel like um, good competitive fight. That means I feel like um, in later rounds, Clayton Rodriguez is going to look to mix it to the ground more, wear him down, score some takedowns, you know, wear him out, make him try to force it, you know, try to make him work to get back to his feet, make him, like, you know, land some ground and pound, make him force, him, force actions, and just drain him off with heavy top pressure. In the third round, sink it, like, take his back, flatten him out, Seek the rear naked choke in and tap him out in that third round. So in this fight, I got Zaruk, not Zaruk, I got Clayton Rodriguez via third round submission.